Let's get straight out to our Brandon Goldner. Brandon, CMPD issued multiple dispersal orders. What's happening right now where you are? Well, Fred, the first dispersal order was a bit earlier than we've usually heard around 9.05. We actually heard about flashbangs that happened beyond the law enforcement center. That was right near the jail at McDowell and Trade Street. The Reverend Justin Martin was there. He says protesters are peaceful when officers sprayed pepper spray in the air. He got hit by pepper spray. He said protesters helped him and he recorded it on Facebook Live. So take a listen to what he has to say. The police seem to be just on edge, and more than I've ever seen before. You know, I was I was here for the Charlotte uprising in 2016. I was a part of Occupy DC in 2011, and I've never seen police act like this before and just seem, you know, ready to to pepper spray indiscriminately. And while a lot of the protesters have been marching peacefully this entire time, we actually saw protesters marching along the backside of CMPD. That's where a woman says someone threw a rock into her car window and didn't steal anything, but it was damage that she said was incredibly frustrating given the movement's significance. It's just a window. It's $200 that I out of my pocket or so. I still respect the movement because I've been here every day since Friday. And I want more for my people, but I didn't want this. It doesn't have to be destruction. It doesn't have to be violence. And we've got police officers blocking traffic, really creating routes away from the city. And we have several officers in dirt bikes. We have several officers in the riot gear and several officers around going around in vehicles. So we're going to keep an eye on things as they develop. Live near CPD headquarters, Brandon Goldner, WCNC Charlotte. Brandon, thank you.